Mrs. What are Smith. we doing today? <laughs> well, here's the deal. It is no secret. Maybe it is a secret. I don't know. Maybe nobody knows. But we are actually considering doing something different when it comes to RV life because we realize that the kids are getting older, that we only have so much time left that they're going to be RVing with us. Right. So we're actually doing some research, checking maybe a new RV on Ready. the horizon. Ready for that empty nester stage? So we're going to check out some RVs and see what we can come up with. See what works. Aid our research. We're going to take you along with us because one thing we have learned is that there are some important questions to ask yourself when researching and considering a new RV. So we're gonna talk about some of those in this video. What we're looking for is really something that we can tow with Ford Expedition. Our current Ford Expedition can handle up to 9,000 pounds, which is actually a pretty good amount of weight. We also aren't going to be considering this RV really just for our own use, but what we want to do is we actually want to be able to have an RV that we can have as a rental. So we also want to consider like what can your average SUV tow, your average maybe like smaller truck tow, just so it's more accessible for a lot of people. So we definitely are going to need to factor in how much is the dry weight on it because it needs to be able to be towed by right. like pretty much most any like medium size SUV. But also let's talk about capacity when it comes to how many people will sleep too, right? Because what are is kind of like our criteria on that. Right, what, five to seven people, you said? How many? The whole football the team. The whole football no. team, yeah. <laughs> we wanted to sleep like maybe four to six, four minimum, right? Because we're a family of four. Right. But we know that there's families that are larger than ours. We stopped at two. Not everybody else stopped right. at two. So four to six people really is what we're wanting it to be able to sleep. Yep. We're gonna see what can we find that fits all of these boxes. What's gonna check all of the boxes, hmm. but also still be what we're going to consider budget friendly. Is there even something like that out there? Know. Maybe this doesn't exist, but we're gonna we're gonna try to see what we can find. All right. Because what better place to try to find it than here at the Tampa Super Show? So we are gonna start by checking this one out. So because we're looking for something very specific, every time that we are going to check something out, we've got to make sure that we are aware of a couple of things. So number one, this particular Winnebago Mini, the dry weight is 6,636 pounds. So now dry weight is something very important to think about and know when it comes to dry weight and what that means. That's before anything's put in it. So that's with the water tank completely empty, like as it sits right here, there's no people, there's no food, there's no clothes, that is our dry weight. So we wanna think about, okay, we're probably gonna add easily three, 400 pounds to that when you start to add things to it. So that checks that box. Next thing is we gotta think about sleeping. This has got a dinette and it looks like maybe a sofa and a queen bed. That would add some extra sleeping space, but let's actually go inside and let's check out how it feels for sleeping, how it looks like it would feel for just comfort. And then is this something that we would use ourselves? And also, is this something that maybe could be used as a possible rental RV? So let's go check it out. It smells like a new RV. <laughs> Yeah, got the new RV smell, huh? It does have the new RV smell. Okay, kind of first impressions here. Let's let's think about sleeping. So definitely this dinette could fold down. One thing we do know with dinettes, if you have two smaller kiddos, you could fit two smaller kiddos there. Not so small kiddos, really just one. So we've got a sofa here. Usually sometimes these jackknife, sometimes they don't. Let's see. Ugh. Okay, so this looks like it's an actual sofa sleeper. So this would pull out into a sofa sleeper. So there... We've got at least two, one to two here. So, so far so good on the sleeping space. Nice bathroom area here. And then nice size bed back here. Looks like a queen size bed back here. So this would fit the bill. This kitchen area is absolutely huge. I mean, this would actually be a potential thing that might be good for like full timers if they're just getting started maybe because it's nice and spacious. But for what we're looking for, I don't know if it fits the bill. So okay, let's well, looking. let's look for something a little bit shorter. This is yeah. 32 feet. Okay, so what? Maybe it's a it's a 28 32 FK. Okay, might be a little too long at 32 feet. Let's go see what we can find that maybe is not quite so long, but we got to make sure that it, we have the sleeping space that we want. So let's see what else can we 
find. Ugh, C32.5, still, still a little long. So this one's 28. I feel like we're getting there. I don't know though. What do you think? Is 28 still too long? Let us know in the comments. Like mm -hmm. if you've never towed a towable RV before, would 28 feet feel like comfortable or would it feel like that feels a little overwhelming on the size? Let's let's keep looking. Let's keep yeah. looking. Let's see if we can find something shorter. To me, it's like the law of diminishing returns. At, at some point, length doesn't really matter. Once you're you got it hooked up, it's gonna feel the same. 28 feet is gonna feel the same as 25 foot versus even 23. So I don't know. It's like I kind of would prefer the bigger size if I were to start out. But if you were going to rent it for just the weekend? Yeah, right. Maybe it's overkill, but it, maybe we could find the rig that has everything in it, which is not as long, you know, that they're making use of all the right space. And maybe. that's, that would be the ideal RV. This one's 27 feet. Okay. So that one was 32. This one's 27. So we've got a five foot difference there. So mm -hmm. let's check out the loss of five feet. So this one's five feet shorter. Is this one going to, how, how is yeah. this going to feel? Okay. Now here's one thing that I do like is like where that other one, you had to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. Not a huge fan of that because if somebody's in the bathroom, but you want to get to the back bedroom, well, now you got to wait for them to be out of the bathroom. This one, the bathroom's in the rear of the trailer. Yeah. So that's just nice in the sense of you're not blocking anybody, but it's really spacious. Plus if you're outside, you know, you can literally get in, get to the bathroom like in a matter of seconds. So, is that is that like a that's a a must have for you on your must. list? Is like it's, the bathroom needs to be quickly accessible. No, that's just a, a positive. <laughs> Let's see what have we got going on here. This one does have a sofa sleeper, so there's a sofa sleeper in there. So we know we at least have two that could sleep here. One. So what's a sofa sleeper? That basically so pulls sofa out sleeper, as a bed. Yeah, it's not a jackknife. Yeah, so it's right. it's like your like your grandma. Like yep. when you spent the night at grandma's and she had the big pull out couch, <laughs> that's what you've got there. But if you've got just like maybe one teen, you can always just throw them on the couch and not even worry about all of that business. Nice size little kitchen area here. So that's nice. Oh, now this is interesting. Look what we got going on back here. Little Ozzy and Harriet leave it to beaver sort of. So for sure you can sleep two people mm. back here. I don't think I like that. I did see on the the, um, the front thing though, is that, so you can actually put this here somehow and then convert it. This would be my concern if you're wall to wall and you don't have any spaces, if you need to get up to use the restroom in the middle of the night, it's kind of a little bit harder where you're crawling over things to get to the end of the bed. Lots of options, right? You could put the kids here. Mom and dad could sleep out there. We're not talking about full-time RV living here. We're talking more about camping, right? Your weekend camping trip, your week-long camping trip. You want to go to Yellowstone National Park in an RV on an epic RV trip, right? This isn't necessarily what we're talking about for full-time living. For a camping trip, this would be camping. I wonder what's in here. Hello! Hi! Whoa! <laughs> What's this in is there? actually like, this is really huge storage. Okay. I mean, you could fit me in there. Yeah. Maybe wow. we could both fit in there. What do we give this? Like, let's start a rating Ooh, scale. Yeah, we should we start a rating rate... scale. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go, are we, is it a five star or is it a one to 10? Do we wanna do stars? Let's do something more fun. Stars? Let's just do something, not stars, <gasps> but. Little travel trailers. Yep, how many travel trailers do you give it? So out of a one to five scale, mm -hmm. I give this, Four travel trailers. Four okay. travel trailers. Okay. So there you go. So this one's 26.8, but here's the deal. Dry weight is 57.62. So that's good because that gives us some flexibility as far as adding weight to it, but not being too heavy to be able to be towed with maybe like your mid-size SUV light truck. So that is good. <gasps> and this is the smallest one available? This is the smallest one available. So this is the mini. 2326BH. So if you've been in the RV world much, do you know what BH stands for usually? Bunkhouse. Bunkhouse. So that would fit the bill yep. on extra sleeping. So let's check it out. Oh, and there's two doors usually because let's go in the back. I wonder if they have a DB. A DB. Let's see. Day bed, day bed model. <laughs> okay, so, oh, bathroom. So you're walking to the bathroom. So if Ben, you were saying you just wanted quick access. Gotta go, to the gotta go. There you go. 
come into the back door, here's your bathroom. But that is actually nice for a lot of different reasons, so. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. So come in. Come in, come in, come in. So you've got your bunks here. These are actually really roomy bunks. Ooh. I just want to try it out. Not the top bunk. But, like, actually, like, I could sleep in here and not be uncomfortable because it's wide. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really wide. So if you had littles, like, if you were traveling with, like, littles, like, grandkids even, this would not be where, like, I mean, you could put a couple of smaller kids here or an adult back here. Then, like, I could totally sleep in oh, here and be just fine. Yeah. Oh. But, okay, and then these have curtains that close, so that's, so you can kind of have some privacy. Yeah, but you've got a curtain. If the kids open these up, they will see you sleeping there all nice and sound. This is camping. Yeah. This isn't full-time, right? right? This isn't your full-time living situation. This is camping. Well, glamping really, because we don't do anything other than glamp. So you've got a couple here. Oh, let's check this out. Let's see if we've got some sleeping down here. Let's see, what do we have? Yes, sofa sleeper again. So it seems like most of these, ooh, that's something to be I, aware I of. hit my head on it. So sofa sleeper here. So this would definitely sleep six two, four, six, and actually maybe even eight if you doubled people up in there. It just depends upon your person size. So, and that's just true of a lot of the RVs as far as like how many it sleeps it really depends upon how big the people are that you're sleeping. So this one so far, I think I'm gonna give this a four out of five travel right. trailers. Now, one thing to note is that this would support more vehicles, right? Because ours is like, does 9,000, but most vehicles will probably do around five. Well, six. but this is more than five, and then that's your dry weight, and you, see, that's the one thing, yeah. you guys, that's so important to remember. Your dry weight is not your total weight, because by the time that you add water in your tanks, you add your food, you add your clothes, you're easily stocking on another three to 500 pounds. So you've got to make sure that you know what exactly that your vehicle is rated to tow. Always check your owner's manual. Yeah. Always check that information because that's going to be your best friend yeah. when you're looking at what can you safely tow. So we came over to the Forest River section to check out some of these travel trailers. Now, it doesn't look like that they have any of the information on the outside. So we're going to have to pull it from in here. And I can see that, okay, this one is 23 feet. So the length is good there. Dry weight is 44.50, Trek, And then this actually says sleeps three. So that automatically is a X. These don't have the info on the outside. So we're gonna have to open the doors. Oh, this one sleeps six. So where you got that? And the dry weight is 37.49. That's good, 22 feet. Now this feels like a camper. So you've got Obviously this is like a Murphy bed thing that would come down there. So there you've got that. This would be a, you can see where this would fold down for sleeping here in your dinette because you've got that there. So sleeping here and then the bunk house. So this, this one checks all the boxes. It's short too. It's shorter. Shorter and still has a full bath. That's a, what's called a dry bath, right? So not your wet bath. So you don't have the toilet. You don't have the shower and the toilet all in one, but you've got the, you know, separation of things. This one is camping. This is camping. You know, one thing that I am seeing that it's kind of nice is that even though it's a smaller travel trailer, this is still really a lot of fridge space for being a smaller travel trailer. So that is kind of cool. I'm going to have to give this one really because of just the fact that it's so lightweight. I'm gonna have to give this a five out of five travel trailers, five out of five. So this one and the other ones too, I was just noticing this is only a single axle. So I just find that interesting. Obviously with a lighter weight, you don't need the double axle, but you've got on this one, 
sleeps four. Four to six is really what we want. 23 feet in length, only 4,079 dry weight though. So let's just go take a quick look. Ooh, you're gonna like this, Ben. Look at this. Ooh, a little workspace. You got, you got a little desk here. I like here. that. So if you are remote on the road and you need to kind of work during your camping trip, you've got this. And then let's see, I'm guessing this is where the four comes in is that this has got to be, oh, so this is a jackknife. So this does your jackknife thing. So that's where two on this bed here. And then your galley area, you do have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. But the one nice thing about that is that then you do have this door that slides across just, you know, a little bit of a degree of privacy if you've got kids out here and then you've got grown-ups back here. But again, only four. Hmm. I'm gonna have to give this a two travel trailers out of five. Two out of five. What's this one? Okay, so we came over to take a look at some of the grand designs. Now, here's the deal. None of these have like the spec sheets on the outside, so we're having to just look up everything online, which that's sometimes what you do. That's your best thing is to look up stuff online. So, so far, it's like either they're really big, like bigger than what we feel comfortable with, or they're smaller and they only sleep four. So how much does this 24 BSE sleep? So this one only sleeps four. So again, like I'm kind of out on that. I know now the gross vehicle weight rating is 69.95. So that's good. Cause that's your total weight rating, right? I mean, that's the most that you could have. So like, that's not so bad. 28 feet. That's crazy. Like this doesn't look like it's 28 feet, but it's hard to know sometimes just by like looking. Oh, only for what? Yeah, so what? this one's a 22 MLE and I looked at it and I'm like, oh, this like the length and everything looks perfect, but this one only sleeps four again. So really, so we, really. Are we gonna find like a shorter one that sleeps six? Like, is that? That's like, that at, least, like at least with this particular brand, that might yeah. be a challenge. Like the other ones I feel like worked, but this one, so far, it's like striking out. Let's keep looking. Let's so what would be our perfect scenario? Like our perfect scenario 20, how, would what, be like, feet? I think our perfect scenario would be like maybe 21, 22 feet. Sleeps at least, I really feel like it needs to sleep at least six because not everybody is a family of four. And I would rather have more sleeping versus less sleeping. And then, because if you have less sleeping and somebody's got a larger family, then that takes that out of the running and what they're considering possibly renting. So really, really feel like actually now that we're thinking this through and looking, we really need to probably say it sleeps at least like five to six instead of four to six. But we gotta stay underneath of that length and in that ideal weight range. All right. So these ones just might not fit the bill. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking though. Let's see. The 22 BHE, 22 BHE. Oh, no, oh, this says it's new. Okay. And oh, this one sleeps five. So. Really? Between four and six sleeps five. GVWR is 69.95. Oh, so that works. It's okay. 25 feet, four inches in length. Okay. So, so far, check, check, check. Let's go check it out. Check some more and see what we think. See, this is nice. This is nice. So you've got, here's your Murphy bed, right? So that's Pulls gonna down. be, yeah, so that's gonna be your, I guess if you're gonna say your main sleeping area, your main sleeping area, and then yep, this, the table goes this down to come down for sleeping. To make it a bed. Yep. And then, oh, look at this. Ooh. This is kind of nice. Bunks? Yeah, I mean, this is definitely more kid sized bunks, right? Like, I personally, as an adult, probably would not feel comfortable sleeping in here, but you have to think about the fact that if you're a family, you're a family, <laughs> like you've got younger kids. That's so, on a slide too. Yes, yeah, so this is on a slide. So that just gives you more space in here. You've got a door in here, lots of storage here. So this one, this one definitely could maybe work. So I'm going to give this one four, Four travel trailers out of five, because this could work. Nice bathroom, decent size, toilet. The one thing I like about this is that the bathroom, again, is in the back. Yeah. And you don't have to walk through the bathroom to access anything else so that 
if the bathroom's occupied, it doesn't mean that something else isn't accessible while the bathroom's occupied. So I do like that. And then this has two slides. So slide here, slide there. So fairly minimal on your, uh, you know, slide mechanisms and what you've got going on slide wise too. Definitely four out of five travel trailers on this one. We've looked at three different brands, the Winnebago, the Forest River, the Grand Design. So far, I think I, the Winnebago for me is the winner as far as the options that they have for what we're looking for. What do you think, Ben? Yep, I would go with Winnebago as well. All right, cool. Well, there we go. That is the winner for now. We are gonna keep researching over time, but that definitely helps us know what's out there. If you want to learn more about some of these RVs, see some of these RVs for yourself, a great place to do that is over at Lazy Days here in the Tampa area. And we do wanna thank Lazy Days for sponsoring this video. So we're gonna leave a playlist right up here of how to organize your RV, because the next step after maybe you've chosen an RV or you're thinking about renting one, is where do you put all the stuff? That's right up here. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.